All right, everybody, welcome back. I am Caden, and we are here in our modded Minecraft survival. We've, our house looks pretty much the same, you'll see, but I have been around, and I have, uh... Those are all the underground things that I found. I spent a lot of time mining in between episodes. I also spent some time uh, gathering other resources. I went back over to our village over there and traded for some emeralds, gathered up uh, some supplies. You'll see I've got uh, baked potatoes now. I've got a whole bunch of carrots, things like that to keep things going. Still got my two pets. They're both still happy. My crafting table and my anvil pet. The anvil pet was wonderful for the mining. He kept uh, using those iron nuggets and repairing my pickaxes, so it took forever for them to break. Um, they finally did, though, as you can see. As a matter of fact, I think I just ran out of nuggets. But anyway, so we actually need some more pickaxes, because pickaxes are good. Whole bunch of things uh, on the docket for today. Really gonna dive into a couple of these mods. One of the things I'd like to do, I really need to go to the nether. The nether has the next bunch of items for us. Uh, the next tier items in order to do a couple of different things I'm gonna have to go to the nether but before we do that I really want to get the mystical agriculture stuff growing because it takes a lot of time each uh, each version of it is iterative that means you know you start with your basic seeds right here your tier one inferium seeds that's gonna result you with one inferium essence this one will give you two when you break it after it grows three four and five etc but of course the recipes quickly get ridiculous requiring supremium essence which again factor of four so if you need uh eight of these then you need 32 of the next tier 128 of the next tier 512 of the next tier you need just a ridiculous amount so in order to get all of these other seeds require you to have some of these uh, crafting seeds right here. There are five levels. Go figure. Everything in this mod, right? The furnaces, the seed reprocessors, which we'll get into. Uh, but tier one through five. And getting into these requires having the previous tier and adding the new essence on top of it until you go down the tiers. And again, factors of four. So it requires 16 of the tier before to make the next tier etc. You can see 16, 64, 5. It just, it gets crazy. So we got to start somewhere. So we're going to start with these, uh, not these. We're going to start with a farm for our Inferium seeds. So we're not having to dig it up. Now I found quite a bunch. Uh, not there. Not there either. Right. Uh, here we go. See, I, I've got a lot of Inferium essence. I have a little bit of Prudentium because uh, I was trying to move up the tiers earlier. I got plenty of Prosperity Shards and stuff. But, uh, yeah, not particularly good. But anyway, so what I want to do right now is I need to get a new tool. I'm missing... There we go. I think uh, stone will do. That's fine. We don't really need anything beyond stone. Uh, I also wanted to put together a little bit of a crafting wall just so that uh, we can automate this process. See, I even cut out a little bit up there. See, what I want to do is I want to have a chest here hopper into this and then hoppering out down here so that I can automate this uh, smelting procedure and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if we got this here, I'm going to need some hoppers, which means I'm going to need some wood. Of course I'm not going to have wood. Every time I go looking for wood, I'm shocked that I have some and then I don't understand why I'm confused when I don't have some. All right, never mind. I'm going to go grab, actually there's wood nearby. Do I have a, I guess I do. All right, life's good. Uh, okay. Well, as I was talking, the sun goes down. All right. All right, off to get wood. Good, 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 good. Okay, I know that there are trees right over here. At least a couple right by our mining site, which is fantastic. Come here. Come on. I just need enough to make a couple of chests for our... Yes, for our uh, hoppers. That's what we need. Oh, apples. I'll take apples. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, um, something that did occur to me afterwards, I went on that long expedition to try to find some sheep for wool, but it does occur to me that we have the silkworms on here, and I didn't even think about it. The silkworms drop uh, an interesting form of string, actually. Uh, is it called string? It's not. Uh, it does require a spindle. 
Um, uses, combines with the silk cocoons dropped by the silkworms to make silk thread. And you can use four silk thread to make wool. So we had found a bunch of them. I mean, you find them in every tree that drops. But I just totally was not paying... See, look at look at them all. Look at all these things. So we're going to definitely start a silkworm farm at some point. I'm not entirely sure when. Uh, but why not? You know, to have to have all the string we could want without having to deal with any uh, any spiders, which is always nice. Because dealing with spiders leads to health issues, which leads to all sorts of... Why am I hearing zombies and stuff? They must all be underground. I've got another really cool pet I want to look into, but we don't quite have the resources for it right now. We're definitely going to get into it. It's called the pingit, which is fun. Not to be confused with a Spanish word that sounds remarkably similar. I'm not going to repeat on camera. Um, but the pingit... It's a little ingot, and when you right-click with it, it actually pings the nearest ore. So if you're within, I, I tested it out to eight blocks. If you're within eight blocks of an ore, it lets you know. But that's not the cool part. The cool part is you can then shift right-click, and whatever it has locked onto, it will start gathering that ore through walls, through whatever, just starts pulling it to you. Now, that gets expensive because its food is diamond nuggets. So every single time it pulls an ore through the walls, it consumes a diamond nugget. Now, you might be thinking, well, I mean, if you could get more than, you know, what, uh, more than one diamond every nine, uh, nine pulls, then, you know, you're coming out net ahead. I'm not going to be able to reach that, am I? I hate that. I do not like that. There we go. Alright. Well, now that I'm going to go ahead and gather all this wood, now I'll meet you back at the base in just a second. Here's something interesting as I was looking up in this tree. You see that chest up there? Now, thanks to Optifine, it's a little bit more visible than it probably should be. But that's also an owl up there. But anyway, uh, some of these trees, I'm not sure what mod is doing it. See, they spawn a chest. There's all sorts of, oh, fun, oh, yes, excellent. Om nom, what are you om nomming? Oh, yeah, the other the wood things. A house pet? Teleport home? Don't mind if I do. I'm going to get rid of... I don't think the leaves right now. Awesome. As a matter of fact, I'm actually here for chests. I should probably... Anyway, um, so I've got that chest. Do I have other chests? Did I pick up that chest? I didn't. All right, so I need that chest. And our nugget's really not that big of a deal. I don't want you guys. There we go. The house pet... But he eats ender nuggets, and I imagine every time that I'm going to have to teleport home, he's going to consume an ender nugget. And I haven't even seen an enderman yet, so... Yeah, it's going to be a minute until we can sort of do that. But that's okay. Anyway, back to the house. All right, now that we're here, we've got everything we need. We've got the wood, etc. I've even got an extra chest there. Let's just get all of this excess stuff out of our inventory. Da, 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 da. We're going to smelt all of it up soon. You go here, because I'm going to put all of you through the hopper system. Get you all smelted up. It's going to be fantastic. All right. So let's take about half this. Good. Um, we're going to need one more chest. Good. Now we're going to need iron. Do I have any loose iron? I do. We're going to need two hoppers. So I don't know. I think I know the recipe, but it's simpler to... Uh, do that. I wanted the second one. Anyway. So, do two hoppers. Lovely. Uh, the first hopper is going to attach to the top here. Boop. The second hopper is going to attach right there. Good. Pulling in, pulling out. I could put a second furnace up here for, like, charcoal or something, but we're going to probably end up using our mystical agriculture coal anyway because of the massive increase in productivity so probably not okay chest need another chest cool there's the input uh what do we do without automation and build craft and things like that uh i could compact this further using an omnidirectional hopper from pneumaticraft the omnidirectional hopper. No, that's not going to happen. We don't have any... I mean, I could make some compressed iron, but just, I mean, to move this over there, and then I'd have to reorient it with a wrench. Uh, what does it take for a wrench? So 
for that. This wrench requires more compressed iron. That's not too bad. Random orange dye. Oh, for the orange bits. That's funny. And a compressed air canister. That's not bad. I got plenty of that. It's not that I don't have these things. It's that uh, starting this mod always starts off with a bang. You need to compress your items. You compress them in a pressure chamber. But if you, you know you need compressed items to build the pressure chamber. So if you don't have the compressed items, the only way to compress it is... Actually, I think it tells you... If you've got compressed iron, for example, it actually tells you you can craft it with explosion crafting. You take regular iron, throw some of the input material on the ground and set off an explosion next to it. Average material loss rate is 20% and you end up with compressed iron. That's, that's how you get started in this mod. I, I'm not even kidding. You literally blow it up. There is some mod crosstalk here. You'll notice that there is a compressed iron crop available. If we use compressed iron and a tier four crafting seed, we can start growing compressed iron. But to be honest, get it, once we get up to speed, especially with the more increased efficiency from these inside the compressors uh, and going up the compressor tiers, we're gonna have plenty of pressure to deal with in our pressure chamber. We'll probably be able to make plenty of that. What were we doing? Right, we were trying to get uh, all of this smelted. So let's go ahead and do, 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 and do. So we're gonna put all of you up here. You're gonna start dropping in, and I'm gonna need you guys to just start smelting. Here I have some more. There you go. I've got some ethereum coal. Let's put that in. That's gonna start cooking and put them all down there. Perfect. Um, got the pickaxes that I need. I uh, got a couple of emeralds. I think I'm gonna grab some more coal. I found that one villager over there that trades for coal. Do I have more coal? I do. I think I'm gonna go see how many emeralds I can get from him. That's that's exactly what I wanna do. One of the things I need from the nether, actually, is going to be soul stone. Soul stone is something that's added in for this mod. Soul stone's gonna allow us to craft a special sword. That special sword is called the Solium Sword. And what the... Ow! It's not paying any attention. Oh my gosh. That was problematic. We could have seen the Gravestone mod for the first time. I'm also going to need to craft a, uh, a Book of Knowledge. So that we don't have to keep running the risk of losing all of this XP. I mean, I've got 28 levels here. That's enough for, you know, almost the top level of enchantment. I don't want to lose it by accident. So we need to craft one of those to hold all of our levels in. And plus you gain levels faster at lower levels. So the, the Tomb of Knowledge. See, two emeralds, lapis, and a book. And I just can't get the book right now because I don't have any cows. I haven't seen any cows. Gonna have to go on a grand search for cows. And no, this time there's no convenient other, at least I don't think there is. Rabbits, maybe? I haven't seen any rabbits either to craft leather. Yeah, rabbit hides or the stuff, cow essence that you get from mystical agriculture. Those are your options to get that leather. Oh. <laughs> the sheep were no fun. Anyway, this thing's picking up. It's moving along. Lovely. Still have one more inferium coal. And I'm out of other coal, aren't I? That should be fine. Whatever, you just, you cook up all you can. Uh, let's get some seeds going, shall we? Did we sleep? We did. Um, let's just get some seeds going so we can get our farm started. Regular seeds that are in here somewhere. Good, we got a lot of those. I'm going to put our Inferium just over here. All right, so seeds. Let's get some base level Inferium seeds. I can get 16 here. No, we have to surround it all the way. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We're going to get nine there. All right, all right, hold up. We can do this. These recipes are tough. Anyway, good, good. So we got a whopping 16 of our base seed. And it requires uh, 32 more just to get one of those seeds up. Oh, my gosh. All right, so do we have a... We do... All right, let's see if we can make some place. Let's uh, make some artificial ground here. Come here, dirt. There you go, dirt. There. Let's 
start making some that's clay. I hate the color of clay. It'll be fine. There's more clay. So we're gonna make all of this sort of swampy area sort of flat-ish. At least ambitiously flat for our purposes. Again, I hate to cover the clay. That should be enough, right? I think that's enough. And we got water right there, so let's just go along the edge. Alright, so now that that's there, we're going to plant our inferium seeds. And those are going to grow up into inferium plants. How much more inferium do we have? Absolutely none. <sighs> all right, well, we're going to have 16 once these all grow, which does take time. Now, there is something called the growth accelerator. Growth accelerator, of course, it requires diamonds and blocks of inferior essence. All right, we'll get there soon. But you can pile growth accelerators up underneath these tilled blocks, and it'll speed up the process of growing these things, which is great, uh, but expensive, obviously requiring diamonds. We're really going to need... Uh, we're really going to need that uh, pingot pet. I think that's really what we're going to need next. No, we're going to the nether. That's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and in order to do that, there is another pet that I think will serve us well. Let me go ahead and get these planted and I'll meet you inside so we can do that. All right, the next pet that I would like to look at is this guy. The magma slime pet. There he is. Magma cube pet. Because he gives us fire resistance, and you can walk on lava. Not even joking, you just walk across lava. It's a little bit janky, especially if you go up ramps. Sometimes you'll sort of clip in and out of the lava, and the red effect on your screen will sort of flicker on and off. I'm sure we'll see it. But since we're going to the nether, I want to make sure we're all right with that. Uh, some redstone, diamond, a gold nugget, and gold. That's not too bad. I think he'll be a good pet for us to take. Uh, diamond, six redstone for six. Uh, we needed some gold, which we just smelted. There we go, that ought to do it. Let's get some gold nuggets. And he eats nether quartz, which we'll find plenty of, of course. You and you in the middle and you. And then you guys around here. Yes, come here, magma cube. Okay, he's hungry right now. We don't want to go jumping into any lava. You see the line underneath them, just like the anvil, is also hungry. Which, by the way, we can we can feed the anvil. We can do that. There we go. He nom noms. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got some wood planks. Let's prepare to go to the nether. Get rid of all of this. And while we're preparing... All of our, actually, I'm gonna want that. Get rid of this, keep this, get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Keep that. Um, I could go ahead and make an amethyst pickaxe to get some obsidian, as a matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna need. Uh, it is supposed to be diamond tier, as I said, right? That's what the documentation said. We're about to find out. Um, because we're going to have to go mine us up some obsidian, and I'm not going to be able to... It's just going to take too long to do it otherwise. So, with our magma pet here, our anvil's all fed, you're fed, you guys are good, you have plenty of food. Let's get rid of what we don't need. I'm going to keep the axe, because there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in the nether. We've got some cool mods going on in there. I'm not going to need you, because you're not going to be useful to me, and um, soul sand, we're going to need soul sand. So that's fine. Uh, let me go ahead and make an amethyst sword as well. Because I'm going to need it. Oh. You guys. Come here, amethyst. Awesome. And now that we're well equipped, I'm going to run down, construct another portal. And I'll see you guys when it's done. So, good news, everybody. It does mine obsidian. So, I, I was right, they were right, the mod documentation was right. I love it when everybody's right. All right, so the question now is where do we want to put our nether portal? Ooh, these things are coming up. Look, slowly. Some of them. Well, this one's coming along, 28%, 14%. Ugh, we need growth accelerators. Now, we want to put the nether portal somewhere where it's not going to be whoop, whoop, whooping all the time that we're 
we're doing stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe over near our mining site. Maybe that doesn't sound bad, right? Like over here. Oh yeah, on my way back, a, a very ambitious creeper tried to creep up on me. I didn't, I never even saw it, and it didn't hit me with the explosion. So, I mean, you know, mission failed, but <laughs> it surprised me. I don't know, maybe right down here so we can contain any zombie pigment issues. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah, I heard that. Just get out of here, get out of here. Why aren't you burning in the sunshine? Why aren't you, why aren't you burning in the sunshine? Huh. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. I think like maybe right, right here-ish. Any reason why not? Anybody have any objection? I can hear your objections in the comments now. No, I think we'll be fine. All right, so let's put this here, 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 uh, here, 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 and uh, I can't uh, no. put that there. So we can put this here and here. And I didn't bring any flint and steel, because that would be silly. Why would I do that? All right, now is the big moment of truth. Bam! All right, let's see what's on the other side. Here we go. We are here. We have the better nether mod on. You can see all this going on. Uh, it improves the way the nether generates, adds a whole bunch of new stuff. It's actually really cool. If I could find some of this, I'd feel really, yeah, I could feel really. Oh, we're not gonna have this issue again, are we? I'm hoping that that's only temporary while the world loads. Oh, there's the ghast over there. You're not gonna be giving me issues, are you? Okay, we're good. All right. I was about to say, you're not gonna... Not again! Started a whole new world seed because of you. Alright, good. Now we've got enough to keep our magma guy. Our magma cube pet happy and fed. Good. Uh, and as a matter of fact, you will see the fire resistance. Walk right through the fire. No problems. Alright, so a couple things we're looking for in here. First is going to be soul stone. Uh, do not touch these. These eggplants, they, you can see the spores they're putting out. That poison is nasty. Doesn't matter if you're in top tier armor, that poison will end you. Uh, and it has absolutely no purpose other than to infuriate you. So it's a good thing that we actually found what we needed right up front. Now I'm not going looking for any fortresses or anything right now, though there are some new spawn, a little mini fortresses out in the magma uh, and things like that on the lava, which I guess we could just walk to now. We don't have to be particularly careful. Though, of course, we will be. But we need some of the soul stone. The soul stone is important for a couple of recipes we're looking at. We're also going to need something called, if I'm pronouncing this right, sincinocyte, which looks like this. It's a great tier of item. It can be crafted up into some really good stuff. A really great tier of uh, not just furnaces, but also... Weapons and tools and all sorts of things like that. Don't need nether moss. Here's more sincinocyte. Yeah, some more soul stone. Awesome. We're gonna need some reeds, I believe. Now this stuff's pretty cool. Uh, these uh, stalagnates. The stalagnates. You can climb up them. Actually, you can see. Climb right on up them. There's all sorts of weird and freaky stuff in the nether now, including all these lovely, beautiful nether grass things like that. None of it does anything, uh, which is sort of a shame because it looks so great. You can also mine things like Infernium and uh, Prosperium, Prosperity Ores. Both of those also spawn in the nether. I think I mentioned that already. So just proving it right there. Let's just get enough of this soul stone. We're gonna do a full explore of the nether later. But sometimes, uh, the first time I explored here, I ended up in a whole field of these eggplants. I, it took me days to get anywhere. It was absolutely terrible. All that we can get. Nether quartz is good. There's the nether prosperity ore. Of course, we've got plenty of... We don't need prosperity ore per se. We've got a lot right now. 
There are some new mobs in the nether. Not many, though. Okay, I'm looking for some Cinecite. I don't... I'm not here for you, Inferium. I mean, thanks, I guess. Here we go. I need Cinecite. There's so many s repeating syllables. That sounds like a blaze. Is that a fortress above this? No, that's a stone. There's a blaze around here somewhere. Beneath us? I don't know. I don't know where that's coming from. Up in there? Eh. We'll, we'll avoid the blazes for now. We don't, need to, we don't need to deal with it. I'm just gonna grab all of this. And then I'm likely headed right back to the overworld. Well, this is a rather calm visit to the nether. Nothing particularly interesting. I'm gonna gather up some more Sincinocyte. And, uh... Soulstone and head back to the overworld. So unless anything interesting happens, you won't be seeing me for a minute. I don't think you need to see all that, right? Again, unless anything interesting happens, I'll leave the camera rolling. If we jump now, either I died and I'm super embarrassed, or uh, something in I would never. I would never. That'd be terrible. Deaths on cameras would get views. People love to see YouTubers mess up and die. Look at Direwolf20. He dies all the time. Isn't that why people watch the videos? I'm kidding you, Dire. I'm kidding. Love your videos. Check this out. It's some sort of like a temple or something. Dare we? I believe we shall. I got decent enough weapons and stuff, right? Decent armor. It's going to be a pain to get to. It's going to be an absolute pain to get to. All of those stupid eggplants. Let's see if we can just go around. See, it just looks like it's asking for trouble, doesn't it? I'm just waiting for something to spawn at any second. Heh. I'm gathering my Cincinnosite. It's cool, though. A respawner statue. You must hold glowstone dust to set your spawn here. Interesting. That's actually really interesting. So you, so you have respawn places in the nether. That is cool. I love the way it looks. Look at this stuff. Sincinocyte stairs. There's some reeds blocks. We actually need that. Reed. Sorry. I hate to desecrate a temple, but we really need we really need that reeds block. Need that for some of the items we're gonna. Oh, I hate to desecrate this temple. Look at this. Reeds fencing. Stairs. This is really pretty. I really like this. It's quite pretty. Ow! Ow! Eggplant! Ow! Ow! <clears throat> oh, hello! Just scared the crap out of me. You gonna... You gonna hurt me? You gonna hurt me, Lava Cat? No? Can you beat where you going? No? You're... You're passive? I think? I think? Okay, well, you're not, you know, killing me. I, I guess I don't have any desire to kill you. Anyway, that's interesting. Kind of cool. You know, it did just occur to me with the nether cat. I bet my fire resistance was doing something. Or if I'm tempted to take it off. Eh. <laughs> I'm not at the point where I want to die in the nether. Now is not the time to experiment. When we come back, we will experiment. But I think it's actually my my pet that's keeping the cat from burning me. Those hurt, by the way, the barrel cactus. All right, a successful trip back from the nether, and I think it is about time to wrap up this episode. We will dive into all the cool stuff we're about to make using nether materials in the next one. I'm Caden. See you next time.